going back very quickly, this green box, process management, managing the asset management process, we're now talking about what's internal to that green box, the processes themselves. We're talking internal to this. So what, what, are, what are the typical sorts of processes that you see inside that? And that's where this capability delivery model comes in. The reason it's called capability delivery is because it, it's all about all these processes are aimed at delivering to do something. So that's a different capability. So that it's a generic model. It's about any, any, any capability you want. So it's called capability delivery model. That's why. And very, very quickly, stakeholders, there needs to be nearly always an agreement. Not needs to be. There always is an agreement with stakeholders about what it is they want. Collectively, you have to sit down and figure out with stakeholders. Um, particularly the ones that are investors and all that sort of stuff. Um, customers, slightly different. Um, certainly have to have a relationship with customers. But with stakeholders, the ones that really matter, you need, you need to have things documented. A lot of businesses are a rusty business. I mean by that they're an existing business. So not only do you, do you have the issue of what the stakeholders want, and they might change from year to year, day to day, but you also got to consider you know, the demand on your business. So the next one, the, so the second element that came up there is demand, demand analysis, which is what's the demand on your business? Yeah. What's the demand on Qantas? When you consider both of those, those sets of requirements from stakeholders and, and, and from the business itself, you have a couple of options. You could actually choose to implement a non-asset solution. We, we are in this room talking about asset management. We mean physical things like the chair. But before you get down to and think about a physical solution, never forget to think about a non-physical solution. And often the best solution is a combination of a, a non-physical and a physical. For most businesses, um, a non-asset solution, if you, uh, if you want to sell more, you sometimes drop the price. We sell less. In other words, we have no ability to deliver 4 million widgets this year. Um, and that's all we can deliver. So uh, to put people off, you might increase the price. As I said, the best solution nearly always is a combination of an asset solution and non-asset solution. On the basis that we, we, go, uh, we, are, we are going to implement an asset and a non-asset solution, we need to mitigate that demand. Uh, we've taken some of that demand away, therefore the need is slightly different than up there, so we need to redo that. Thank you.